welcome to Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. The fourth of the Bluegrass for the championship game of the 81st Boys Sweet 16 State High School Basketball Tournament. Let's welcome the visitors, the champions of Region 15, the Tigers of Paintsville. Y'all ready for this? And now, let's welcome the home team champions of Region 8, the Cardinals of Scott County. And now, let's meet the individual squad members for the visitors in tonight's game, the Tigers of Paceville. First, let's meet the off-court staff. Superintendent Paul Williams. Principal Grayson Boyd. Equipment manager Billy Fraley. Statistician David Trimble. Cheerleading sponsor Kathy Kenner. Assistant Coach Mike Haney. Assistant Coach Mark Baldwin. Assistant Coach Roger Belcher. Assistant Coach Bob Van Hoos. Assistant Coach David Van Hoos. And the Head Coach Bill Mike Runyon. And now let's meet the non-starting players. Number three, Danny Scott. Number 11, Jason Conley. Number 14, Donnie Kishner. Number 15, Devin Peck. Number 21, Jeremy Hall. Number 22, Derek Collins, number 32, Mike Burchett, number 34, Ben Trimble, number 35, Mitchell Grimm, and number 42, Ethan Blackburn. And now let's meet the individual squad members for the Cardinals of Scott the off-the-court staff manager, Daniel Wells. Videographer, Damon Hall. Trainer, Rick Mitchell. Statistician, Wayne McClintock. Statistician, Jim Cook. Superintendent, Dr. Dallas Blankenship. Assistant Principal, Sonny Tennyson. Principal, Greg Fig. Athletic Director, John Krigler. Statistician, Ashley Hicks. Statistician, Betsy Hamilton. Scorekeeper, Ken Farley. The Head Coach, Billy Hicks. Assistant Coach Billy Sargent. Assistant Coach Sean Barry. Assistant Coach Dudley Mattingly. Assistant Coach Steve Helton. And the non-starting players. Number five, Chris Wallace. Number 10, Casey Alsop. 
Number 32, Ken Chisley. Number 34, Brian Harris. Number 22, Todd Oser. Number 40, Cam Cantrell. Number 30, Justin Christman. Number 24, Steve Milligan. And number 44, Josh Willoughby. And now, let's meet the starting lineup. At forward for Paintsville, number 41, Mark Grimm. At forward for Scott County, number double zero, Mike Scarabelli. At center for Paintsville, number 40, J.R. Van Hoes. At forward for Scott County, number 23, Toby Harris. At guard for Paintsville, number four, Derek Howard. At center for Scott County, number 33, Mario McIntyre. At guard for Paintsville, number five, Josh Greiner. At guard for Scott County, number 14, Rick Jones. At guard for Paintsville, number 12, Todd Tackett. And at guard for Scott County, number three, A. W. Hamilton! Ladies and gentlemen, let's wish the best of luck to these squads who will compete for the 81st Kentucky Sweet 16 Boys State Championship! stuff that they did. Uh, the game will be outstanding because the pregame intro was just unbelievable. And now for the starting lineups. First of all for the Scott County Cardinals. And forward, number double zero at six foot four junior guard, Michael Scaravilli. The other forward, number 23, Toby Harris, a six foot three inch senior forward. In the center position, Mario McIntyre, number 33, a six foot two senior center. At the two guard position, A.W. Hamilton, number three. He's a six foot three junior guard. And rounding out the Scott County Cardinals starting lineup, number 14, Rick Jones, a six foot one inch junior point guard. The Paintsville Tigers, the big guy, J.R. Van Hoos, is in the middle. And they're also led by Mark Grimm, Derek Howard, Josh Greiner, and Todd Tackett. That rounds out the starting five for Paintsville as we near the beginning of this high school basketball championship for the state of Kentucky. And Chuck, you talked a little bit earlier about the, the uniqueness of a single class high school basketball championship. To my knowledge, Rick, the state of Kentucky after this year will be the only state in the United States that has one division that covers all for a state high school basketball championship. It's my understanding that next year, the state of Indiana will go to a class system dividing it into four classes, single A, double A, triple A, and four A, much like what we have in football here. Which is a darn shame. I lived in Indiana for about 10 years, and the, the beauty of the single class system was, uh, was really apparent in that state, and I'm very surprised that they're gonna change that, but that's a shame. But we will be able to enjoy the single class system here in Kentucky. Well, quite frankly, if we were talking about a class system, Paintsville is a single A school. They play in the All-8, as a matter of fact, they won the All-8 tournament down in Richmond back in January. And Scott County would be a 4A school. 
So it's a David versus Goliath here on Rupp Arena's Hardwood tonight. There have been a lot of those, and David has come out on top in many. We'll see what happens tonight as Van Hoos and Harris jump at center to open the game. Van Hoos wins the tap. They scramble for it. It'll be a jump ball. They probably will re-jump since neither team gained possession. Get a shot of Coach Bill Mike Runyon in his 16th year with Paintsville. He didn't look old enough to be coaching 16 years. Well, you don't see this very often since the possession arrow rule. They bring in two other guys to jump it, which is the old rule. And Paintsville had it for a minute, but Scott County will control. JR lost it out of bounds. So Scott County, the eighth region champion in their third appearance in the last four years, vying to be the champion of Kentucky Boys High School Basketball. And there's Rick Jones, will do, who will do most of the ball handling tonight for the Cardinals. Jones is their main man. Scott County opens up with a jumper a bit too strong on that one. Jones comes up with a long rebound. Takes it right down low to Scaravelli, who missed the short one. And Van Hoos comes up with it, steps out, though. Van Hoos in familiar territory, 489 rebounds on the season. He's set to break West Sunsell's all-time Kentucky high school record. I'm not sure what that number is, but there was banter about that in the press room prior to the game. Successful inbound play, missed jumper. Rebounded by Scott County, loose ball. And there's the young man heading to Clemson, Todd Tackett. Scott County opening up in a straight man-to-man. -man. Actually, they're doing a diamond and two now. They dump it down low to Van Hoos. Turnaround jumper was no good. He was fouled. He'll head to the line for two. Foul called on Toby Harris. That is his first and the team's first. Rick, one thing to watch and one thing to look for is Toby Harris has a leg injury. If you look at his left ankle, all the way up to the mid-calf, he's taped. And he hurt that earlier in the uh, semifinal round today. Van Hoos connects on nearly 30, excuse me, nearly 73% of his free throws on the year. And connects on his first and does so on his second as well. 2-0 Paintsville. Paintsville opening up in a diamond and two. three point attempt. And it's good. It's good. He was fouled in the process. Rick Jones will go to the line for a four point play. Paintsville's trying to shut down the outside and the inside game. The outside game is Rick Jones. And that's going to be hard to shut down, Rick. Rick Jones averages 18.6 points a game on the season. Pretty good free throw shooter, 85%. So not surprised to see him convert that four-point play. Scott County doubles up Paintsville four to two. Scott County trapping all over the court. Now they set up in a diamond and two. Paintsville trying hard to get it inside that Van Hoos. They do so. He converts for all. A.W. Hamilton, the talented two guard. He Scott makes County again getting the open shot or the open look for three, but not taking it. That was Mario McIntyre had the open shot. Probably not his game. Does well to pass it off. There's a jumper by Jones. Little off. Rebounded by Scott County. Rebounded again and converted by Scarabelli. His first two. Look ahead to Todd Tackett. There's an easy lay-in for Tackett. Tackett's first two points. He leads all scorers in the tournament. Oh, nice move. Hamilton answers on the other end. 8-6, Scott County. Pressure all over the court by Scott County. Paintsville breaks it. Derek Howard will run the point for the Tigers. Look underneath at the diamond defense that they're putting under. They're doubling down on JR. Jump shot by Howard, a little strong. 
Van Hoos recovers and converts. We're tied at eight. Van Hoos is sixth point. JR had 30 points in Paintsville's victory to get them to the final game. Scott County came up with a loose ball, missed jumper. They fight for it. Tackett comes up with it. I tell you what, for a 6 3 point guard, he can get up. Tackett is scrappy. Not only is he a scorer, but he is a scrapper. Graham loses it out of bounds for Paintsville back over to Scott County. Good look there by Tackett. Grimm was just a little bit flat-footed on that. He made the pick, and Tackett thought he would slide to the hoop. That will be there again, I, I venture to guess. Watch Rick Jones. Hits a nice pass to Hamilton. Nice pass. He missed the bunny. Van Hoos recovers. Howard sets the offense for the Tigers. They again are trying to work it low to Van Hoos. That's a nice look by Tackett. Mark Grimm off the glass. to Grimm for his first oh two points. 10-8, Tigers. Jones, good! Jones answers at the other end. We're tied at 10. Jones has six. Tackett. Tackett back the other way off the side of the glass. No good, Harris rebounds. You gotta watch Jones on the back pick here. Harris is the leading rebounder on the Cardinals team. He'll pull up for three and oh. connects. <laughs> Toby's first three points of the game. He averaged nearly 16 a game this season. Getting ready to check into the game for Clark County. He's number five. Nice dish down low from Grimm to Van Hoos. JR's eighth point. 13-12, Scott County. Wallace for Scott County and Connolly for Paintsville getting ready to check in the game at the first break in the action. A miss at the other end by Rick Jones. Paintsville got the rebound. Power drives, he'll get called for the charge. Nice defensive play by Toby Harris. That'll be Howard's first and the team's second. Unlike any of the games that we've had here this week, Rick, we've only had three fouls called here all, almost halfway through the first period of play. Typically, we had that in the first 30 seconds of play in most games. Grimm will take a seat for the Tigers, and Jason Conley, the 6'4 senior, enters the game. Rick Jones is such a heady player. I like the way he runs the offense set on here. Jones just short on the three-pointer. Scott County comes up with a loose ball. Misses the layup. Out of bounds. Tigers ball. So we've got our first time out with Scott County clinging to a one-point lead. Two minutes and 47 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Let's take a time out ourselves. You're watching coverage of the Sweet 16 Boys Basketball Tournament on Marketplace 6. Field goal percentages are an important factor right now. Scott County at 31% in the game, five of 16 from the field. They're getting a lot more chances than Paintsville is. Paintsville's five of seven at a 71% clip. One thing that you need to note here is the fact that Van Hoos is the leading scorer. That means that Paintsville's been packing the ball inside to Van Hoos and they've been doubling down on him. However, if you look over at the Scott County score sheet, you find four players that have been scoring for them with Jones leading the way with six. Van Hoos has not missed a shot. He has eight points. He's leading the tournament in field goal percentage at 65%. Full court pressure. Brickham. Paintsville breaks it. Foul on Jones. It appears that will be his first. If it is on Rick, no. Nope. They called it on Josh Greiner. It will be his first, Scott County's second. Actually, I think they got Chris Wallace for Scott County. Greiner will be at the line for Paintsville. Yep. Two number fives, Rick. Rick that. Yeah, yep. two number fives. Wallace is first, still the team's second, as Greiner converts the first of two. 
Paintsville takes the lead. Back into the game for Scott County, the two guard, number three, that is A.W. Hamilton. Hamilton hit some crucial free throws down the stretch in the Lexington Catholic game this morning. Jones walking the ball up for Scott County. No pressure here from the Tigers. Scott County likes to work that weave on the outside. Beautiful play inside and the conversion to Mario McIntyre, his first two points. Scott County 15, Paintsville 14. There's a trap, will result in a turnover. Two on Jones. one. McIntyre converts. Back down to Van Hoos, he's fouled, but he makes it, and he'll go to the line to convert the three-point play. Right back at you. A minute 57 remaining in the first period of play. 17 for Scott County, well, here it is. Here goes JR up, up the glass strong. McIntyre over the back. Out of the game, Rick Jones, into the game. The talented sophomore point guard replacement, Casey Alsa. So Van Hoos converts, the game's tied at 17. Fresh off the bench, Hamilton comes in, misses the jumper. Van Hoos throws the rebound away. Toby Harris will pull up from three and make it. Scott County is up by three. As of right now, Rick Scott is shooting 60% from the three-point line, three of five. Paintsville hasn't taken a three-point shot yet. Toby Harris shoots the threes at a 36% clip on the season. There's the first one. Good! Beckett tries to answer, he does. They call it a two-pointer. Scott County giving Paintsville all they want tonight. They're a scrappy bunch. I believe that foul's on J.R. Van Hoos. If it is, that'll be his first. Paintsville's only had three team fouls so far this quarter. And I'm going to correct that. That's his second personal foul. Here's the replay. Toby or, uh, Mario McIntyre put the shot up. J.R. chested up on him. Got called for the body. That foul was actually called on Howard, his second personal for Paintsville, and he took a seat. That would be a problem if Van Hoos had two at this stage, Chuck. Howard must have got him on the arm before JR yeah, got I him he bodied up on him. He did. McIntyre makes it a 22-19 Scott County lead, and Scott County applies pressure when they do score. Todd Tack is working against double pressure. Wide open, nice Jason pass. Conley. Very nice pass. Conley converts. Conley's a 6'4 senior. Casey Alsop driving the lane. Got a holding foul. Is that Josh Greiner? It appears so. Greiner, 6'1 senior, his second. That's the team's fourth. It will result in a out of bounds play underneath the basket. And that results in a turnover. Scott County's first. We've been, based on two teams that press a lot, we've been very fortunate to only have five total turnovers in the game so far, Rick. Paintsville inbounds successfully to tack it. He'll try to take it himself. They don't appear to try a trap over the timeline. Get it into Van Hoos pretty easily, and he converts. Paintsville is a one-point lead. Close to a half a minute to go here. McIntyre's foot was on the line. It would have only been a two if he made it. Van Hoos got loose. Tackett didn't see him. So they might hold for a last shot here. Nope, they'll be aggressive. Tackett converts. Paintsville 25, Scott County 22. Tackett's sixth point. Also drives, he's fouled on the floor with not much to, oh, they called it a jump ball. And Paintsville will get possession with 2.2 seconds remaining in the first quarter. 
Tackett almost made it from half court. So a good first quarter of play, pretty darn high scoring as well. Paintsville's on top, 25-22. Let's take a timeout. Stay with us. Back at Rupp Arena, we talked earlier about field goal percentages. And that statistic is even more in favor of Paintsville at this, at this stage. They're 10 of 12 from the field at an 83% clip. And Scott County, 8 of 22, Chuck, 36%. You know, the tail of the tape here, though, for Scott County is a 3 of 5 from the three-point land. Banging the ball inside, they made most of their points coming on second chance. They've got four second chance points inside. And you look at individual statistics, J.R. Van Hoos has 13 points for Paintsville. Um, Grimm has two, Griner has two, Connolly has two. On the other side, you've got scoring distributed evenly among five players. And J.R. has yet to miss a shot in this game. A.W. Hamilton Hamilton up. drives, no good, recovered by Paintsville. Derek Howard will lose it out of bounds. The Cardinals get possession. Derek's done a real good job of running the floor. He just uh, maybe had a little perspiration on the ball there and, and lost it. Saw a quick shot of Billy Hicks, the four-year coach for the Cardinals. As we see Rick Jones pull up for a jumper, he converts his eighth point. He's just a junior. He's going to be something next year. Hey, he's already something. He sure is. You're right. Tackett controls. Paintsville works the exterior until they can get an opening to JR. A.W. Hamilton had his hand on Mark Grimm's back. Checked into the game at the last time out was number 32. That was Kenneth Chisley. That'll be A.W.'s first, his team's fourth. Beautiful inbounds play. Converted by Griner. Great pass from Howard. I don't think McIntyre knew how open he was there. No. Chisley in the corner. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebounded by Paintsville. Pushed by Tackett. Mark Cutter Grimm. down the middle. Block shot, out of bounds. Paintsville will retain possession. Well, Scott, Scott County has seven points after turnovers. Paintsville has two. However, Paintsville's been banging the ball inbounds. Tackett converts a three-pointer from the inbounds play. Suddenly, it's a five-point lead for Paintsville. You cannot lead him that open, Rick. Hamilton, good, strong drive. That ball was knocked into the next county, but they'll ticket JR with his first personal. Team's fifth. As you look here in the replay, A.W. Hamilton goes on the baseline, goes up with a little floater. JR says, don't bring that stuff in the paint here tonight, baby. A.W. is an outstanding free throw shooter. He converts 84% on the season. That was his first tonight. His second is good. He has four points. Three-point lead for Paintsville. Here comes the pressure, broken by Derek Howard. Nice interior passing to Van Hoos for his 15th point. He is 6 of 7 from the field, Rick. These guys can really pass the ball. I think that's one of the biggest strengths of this Tigers team is their ability to pass, especially on the interior. Nice block by Van Hoos. Another block shot for JR. He fell down awful easy there. Hackett pulls up from three. He was fouled by Hamilton. It'll be his second. Team's fifth. Will they shoot two or three? Or will it be a, it'll be a shooting foul, but will it be two or three? Two. 5.59 remaining in the first half of play. Paintsville 32, Scott County 26. Tackett is a solid free throw shooter. It didn't look that way there. Into the game for Scott County, number 10, Casey Alsop, and number 23, Toby Harris. Chisley goes out, and McIntyre goes out. Sackett's a 71% free throw shooter. He had a tournament high of 31 points in a prior game leading to this championship game. 
Paintsville leads by seven. Jones pulls up, no good, rebounded by the Tigers. Tackett looks to push it up the court. Tried to get it down low to JR. Dumped outside, back into JR. Three seconds Three call. Second violation. As far as turnovers go, Scott County has two. Paintsville has six for the game so far. So the fact that Paintsville is turning the ball over, has turned it over six times, and Scott County is converting on their three-point field goals, it's keeping them in the game. Casey Alsop off the back rim. Alsop missed the shot. It was rebounded by Paintsville. Derek Howard will push and convert. Nine-point lead for the Tigers. Toby Harris looking to Scaravelli. Turnaround by Scaravelli. Good-looking move against the big guy. Scott County needed that bucket. They trail by seven. We've got a torrid pace going offensively, Rick. JR was wide open. The pass was a little bit strong by Tackett. Can't blame him for trying. It results in Paintsville's seventh turnover. Under five minutes to go. It's Paintsville 35, Scott County 28. Both teams have five fouls on them. Rick Jones is their floor leader. Rick had a tournament high seven three-pointers successfully made against Lexington Catholic as he converts the two-pointer there. Five-point Paintsville lead. That was Jones' 10th point. Scramble. Scott County comes up, up with it. That will be Paintsville's ninth turnover. A.W. Henderson. Nice spin move. Crowd wanted a walk. Tackett hustled to try to save it. His foot was on the line, though, and Scott County will keep the ball. You know, one thing I'll, I'll note about the Scott County team, they're the peskiest defensive team I've seen in high school in a long time. They've got three guys who just flat get after you. Hamilton, Jones, and Olsen. Speaking oh my of the goodness. devil, he converts a three-pointer, pulls his team to within two. That's his 13th point on the game. If he gets hot, you better watch out. JR inside gets his own rebound, converts. Paintsville needed that bucket. They lead by four. JR's 17th point. Paintsville 37, Scott County 33. Rick Jones is feeling it. Unfortunately, the rim didn't feel anything that time. It's an air ball as Paintsville comes down the other way. Look at a pushing foul on Mark Grimm. That's the 16th foul on Paintsville. So the ball will be out of bounds underneath the basket. Mark Grimm's first, one more foul. Scott County will be in the bonus. Being ready to check in for Scott County, number 33, Mario McIntyre. Sitting down is Harris. Also checking in for Paintsville was Jason Conley. And Scott County. Sets their offense. Casey Alsop. Dalton and Alsop three points. Casey's first points of the game. It's a one point game. Guys, we got Richie Farmer sitting next to us over here. He just shakes his hand every time these little Scott County guards let one fly. Tackett pulls up for three and answers from the lead. <laughs> guys are unconscious. Paintsville, four point lead, 40 36. Hamilton. Hamilton too strong. McIntyre. Weak side rebound by McIntyre. Kicks it out to Jones. They're going to get a slap on, no, nope, three-point violation. Three-second violation, I should say. Getting ready to check into the game for Scott County, number five. At the next break will be Chris Wallace. Now, we were talking, Richie Farmer was sitting over here next to us, and he's broadcasting on the Sweet 16 radio network. And every time one of these little Scott County guards and tactic would let one of these things fly, he was just shaking his head and smiling because you know he was thinking back to when he was on this floor. And he and his brother in that great Clay County team were just exactly the photocopy of the Scott County team. Scott County is shooting, shooting the lights out. They're five of seven from three-point range. However, from the field, they're only 13 of 35. So if it weren't for their three-point conversions, they'd be in rough shape. They only trail by four at this stage. Check the leading scorers. Van Hoos, 17 for the Tigers, and Jones, 13 for Scott County. Rick, one thing to note, Paintsville has 13 defensive rebounds to Scott County's one. 
That means that Scott County is typically only getting one shot at the basket. And if they don't make their shot, it's pushed back up the other way for Painesville. Painesville's done a good job rebounding the basketball today. Individual scoring efforts here. J.R. Van Hoos already has 17 points. He's seven of nine from the field, three of three from the foul line. He has five rebounds, one foul. On the other side of the court, you've got Rick Jones, who is five of 11 with 13 points, one for one from the foul line. Paintsville inbounds to Tackett against some slight pressure applied by the Cardinals. Some strong man-to-man -man defense. That's what the Cardinals survive on. That's what got them to this point. They're going to stick with it. Paintsville has been working the perimeter for the most part and then trying to get the ball down inside. A missed jumper resulted in a J.R. Van Hoos rebound, and he was fouled on the floor. In the act of shooting, I don't think so. It will be an inbounds play. That foul was on Mario McIntyre. That's his second. That's Scott County sixth. One more foul for either team will be in the bonus. Tack it for three. Back rimmed it. Rebound by Jones. Jumper by Alsop. Too strong. A push in the back by Scaravelli. That'll be his first. And it'll be a bonus situation. Torrid pace here in the first half. Paintsville 40, Scott County 36. Up and down the court, up and down the court. I tell you what. Neither one of these teams are bashful about shooting the basketball. They sure are not. Josh Conley will head, or excuse me, Jason Conley will head to the line. Only converted on 50% of his free throws during the season. He's successful there, though. His third point, now his fourth point of the game. Paintsville has a six-point lead. Wallace. Another three-pointer, good by Wallace. They cut that lead in half to three. Run out, tack it. Tack it back to the other end. He made it. He was fouled. He'll go to the line for a three-point play. Tackett's 15th point. I tell you what, I really like both the Tackett and the Jones kid, the way they play. It's a good shot of Coach Billy Hicks telling his players, you've got to get back after you make the basket. Tackett converts on the three-point play. Tackett and Van Hoos have 33 of Paintsville's 45 points. Wallace. McIntyre looking for an opening. He'll drive it against Van Hoos. He traveled. That'll be a turnover. That's called. I tell you what, when you look at that big 6'9 frame going into paint, it's got to be intimidating. Can't blame him for taking steps there. Again, Paintsville showing a lot of patience on the perimeter, looking to work it into JR. Just well, as we say that. He sinked when he should have sagged on the outside there. That's Paintsville's ninth turnover. Checking into the game, Toby Harris and Mario McIntyre will be going out. Toby had a good rest there. He's between he and Jones, they really carry the load for this team. Toby Harris leads this team in a lot of categories. Wallace. Scramble for it. They're going to call Josh Reiner Greiner. on the foul. That will be his third, team seventh. It will be a one and one for Alsa. He's talking about Harris a little bit. Leads the team in rebounds and block shots on the season. There you see, checking into the game, Danny Scott. Going out will be Reiner. Danny Scott is a six foot junior. As we see Casey convert the first, the front end of a one and one. Casey is an 82% free throw shooter. Both of he these adds teams, to that average. Both of these teams shooting excellent at the foul line tonight. Scott County 100%. They're seven of seven. There's going to be another attempt at a three point play. I, we've seen more of those today that th than we have throughout the tournament. When you've got excellent athletes that are able to control their body in midair and have, can get their shoulders squared and finished, that's what happens. Derek Howard heads to the line to try to convert his fifth point of the day. He doesn't. Scott County rebounds. Toby Harris controls. Also to Jones. 
Hackett tried to reach around. They're going to get him on the personal foul. That'll be his first. We'll send Jones to the line for a one and one. Again, Jones is the leading free throw shooter on his team at 85%. Nice form. He looks like it. He's just a clinic to watch. Jones has 14. Matched his number on his jersey momentarily. He now has 15. Paintsville's lead is four. Finally, Paintsville has done a real nice job of breaking this pressure applied by Scott County once they make a bucket. Scott out front. See They're doubling they down on JR. Look at that. I'm amazed nice he jumper. got to the basket. JR somehow found his way to the basket. He touched it three times and finally converted. I'll tell you what happened one. there. They doubled down, but whenever the ball went on the rim, they didn't block out. Three-point attempt off the front of the rim. Uh, they're pointing at Scaravelli, I think. No, they're not. They're going to get Danny Scott for his first personal. Checking will send Scaravelli to the line for a one-and-one. One. Excuse me, checking in. Mitchell Grimm, number 35. Hey, he is, uh, look at this, here's the replay, he goes up off the rim, over the back is Danny Scott. Scaravelli, good. Scaravelli converts on his first. He's uh, a disappointing 49% free throw shooter on the season, but he looked pretty smooth there. And he's one for two. Up him, up him. Matches his season average. Checking in for Scott County, number 33, Mario McIntyre. Scaravelli goes out. You know, one thing I'm noticing on both ends, Paintsville is doing a pretty good job boxing out with uh, Jeff doing a good job. But once the ball goes up, they don't put a body on him. Let's see if Paintsville holds for the last shot. Almost a turnover, and it is. A.W. Hamilton comes out with it. But they got it right back to Van Hoos. Plenty of time left. Now Alsop intercepts. One turnover after another. Alsop for three, no good. Scott comes out with it. He'll throw up a three-pointer, almost made it. That would have been a great way to end the half. But Paintsville with an impressive first half leads Scott County in the championship game of the Sweet 16 tournament. 49-44. Stay tuned for first half statistics. Let's take a commercial timeout. You're watching Sweet 16 coverage on TCI Marketplace 6. First of all for Scott County, 14 of 40 from the field for 35%. Three-point field goal, 6 of 11. They've got five turnovers and 10 of 11 from the foul line. On the other end of the court, Paintsville, 9 of, 19 of 29 for 66%. Two of three from three-point field goal range, 11 turnovers, and 9 of 11 from the foul line. The leading scorers thus far, Tackett and Van Hoos lead their team. Tackett with 16, Van Hoos with 19 leads all scorers. And Rick Jones with 15 for Scott County. Chuck, what are some of the keys to victory for, well first, the Cardinals from Scott County? I think that Scott County, first of all, used to get their inside game working so it'll free their outside game. Now that's kind of unusual to hear people say that because typically you want to have your outside game free your inside game working. But what they've got to do, they've got to get J.R. Van Hoos away from the basket on the offensive set. How about Paintsville? On the other hand, Paintsville, I think they keep doing what they're doing. Putting the ball inside to J.R. if the shot's not there, kicking it out to Tackett or Griner or Howard and letting him take the shot. With the exception of 11 turnovers, Paintsville played an outstanding first half. They shot 66% from the field, 82% from the line. They had a team uh, high of 11 assists compared to only three for Scott County. So if it weren't for the turnovers, Paintsville would be way out in front of the Cardinals from Scott County. There's one half of basketball left in the 1998 high school basketball season. We're pleased to present it to you on TCI Marketplace 6. Paintsville 
again showing some patience on the perimeter and they really work hard to get it down to Van Hoos right off the bat they do he's fouled while he attempts to get the rebound by Scaravelli that will be Scaravelli's uh, third foul I think make it his second and that's the team's first in the second half quick inbounds to tack it just as quick entry pass to Van Hoos who was fouled on the way up disappointed in himself that he didn't finish that foul will be on Toby Harris number 23 for Scott County this is just what we saw Chuck at the beginning of the game Paintsville made a concerted effort to get it inside to JR I stand corrected on that that was on A.W. Hamilton his third foul Van Hoos converts JR was named the high school athlete of the year today actually by the KHSCA what well, was announced by the KHSCA executive director but he's the boys basketball athlete of the year for 1998 41 blue. fouls on 41 blue that would be grim for Paintsville ball out of bounds to Scott County Paintsville's first team foul Mark Grimm ticketed with his second personal. Nice inbounds play by the Cardinals. Hamilton missed the shot. McIntyre rebounded. No good. They're going to get Conley on the foul, the 6-4 senior. I think that's check Grimm that. again. Check that Grimm. The right check. That's his third, team second. Checking into the game, Jason Conley, number 11. See, I knew I'd be saying Conley's name eventually. And Grimm takes a seat. I won't say he's looking grim with three fouls. Beautiful shot by Jones. Rick Jones with a two-pointer, five-point Paintsville lead. Pressing all over the court. A trademark of the Scott County Cardinals. Paintsville has had little trouble breaking the pressure thus far. They get that inside to tack it. Van Hoos fights for it. The Cardinals leading rebounder Harris comes down with it. Scaravelli. Scaravelli in and out. I don't know how that didn't go in. The ball appeared like it was halfway through the hole. Five point lead by Paintsville. 51 to 46. Again inside the JR. No good. Paintsville did get the long rebound. And a three pointer by Tackett is good. Tackett is hobbling here early. He went off at the end of the first half. It appeared he had an injury. He is not 100% as Rick Jones hits a two pointer. 54 48, Paintsville. Let's pay attention to Tackett, Chuck. I don't think he's 100%. He may be cramping up. Well, he seemed to have a problem at the end of the first half. And I think, I don't think it healed itself during the intermission. Four on two. No luck attempted pass by Jones. Jones led the team in assists this year. So he's awfully good at passing the ball. There you get a, a good shot of Coach Billy Hicks in his first Sweet 16 final game. Out of bounds back over to Scott County. 5.51 remaining here in the third frame of play. Paintsville 54, Scott County 48. Scaravelli will inbound. Jones will shoot the three-pointer. JR will rebound. Howard will take it in the hole and convert for Paintsville. Eight point lead for the Tigers. Howard sixth point. Mario McIntyre for three. Conley fights hard for the rebound. Dumps it off to Tackett. And Paintsville will set the offense. Getting ready to check in at the next break in the action. Number five, Chris Wallace for Scott County. Tackett and Conley look to work the give and go. A 20 second timeout called by Paintsville. Also checking in for Scott County, number 10, Casey Alsop. 
Tackett got trapped right in front of his head coach, Bill Mike Runyon, had the presence of mind to call a timeout with his team leading 56-48 as we get a look at the, well now, the Scott County faithful. Probably over 22,000 people here in Rupp Arena for one of the most wonderful events in high school athletics, a boys basketball championship game. We'd like to take this time to thank the KHSAA for allowing us to bring you exclusive television coverage of the Sweet 16 here on TCI Marketplace 6. Inbound to Tackett to Van Hoos to Howard. That's a design play and it works. That was on the rim, they'll wave it off. Basket interference, no goal. That was a well-designed play off the inbound, uh, off of the 22nd timeout. Wallace for three, good! Wallace converts the three-pointer. It's a five-point lead for Paintsville. Near interception by Wallace. Mike, excuse me, Billy Hicks wanted a foul as JR tried to fall away, missed it. Conley tried it, missed it. Almost intercepted by Wallace. And Billy Hicks is coming unglued on the sideline for the Cardinals. I hear the Boo Birds in the background and they're Cardinals tonight. <laughs> that was a close play, Rick. As you look, JR. Gets the basketball above his head, throws it back out to Derek Howard. Here comes Chris Wallace by, and from that angle, it's hard to tell whether he made contact or not. Rims out. He'll get two. Howard misses the first. There's a good shot of Coach Hicks walking the sidelines, naturally nervous. Derek is a 66% shooter on the season, makes the second for his seventh point. Paintsville leads by six. Ricky Jones. Jones tried to cut the lead to four. They're gonna get an over the back call on Conley, I believe. If so, that'll be his first. Hey Rick, Scott County has snuck back into this. They're only six points behind. And that's the way they do it. You think you've got them down and all of a sudden they start coming back. They've done that all throughout the tournament, haven't they? Absolutely. You got to stay on also. He'll throw it up from three, and just as I say that, he hits it, cuts the lead to three. Both of these teams are really a treat to watch. 57-54, Paintsville, Conley. Alsip's eighth point. Tackett tries to answer with a rainbow shot. They're going to call Conley on the flop on the foul, pushing foul on Toby Harris. It'll be Conley's second, team's fifth. Check that team's fourth. Now let's see if the guards, what the guards do here for Scott County. A chance to close to within one or tie with a three-pointer. Also, tipped in by number tipped 13. Tipped in by Toby Harris. Harris is eight point. Don't look now, Rick, but we got a game. It's a one point lead for the Tigers. Near interception by Harris. Near travel by Griner. There's a foul on the floor. They're going to get Alsip. His Actually, second. Wallace. Is it Wallace or Alsip? Five or ten. Oh, you're right. It is Alsip. There's a good shot of Bill Mike Runyon. Got his sleeves rolled up. That's his trademark on the sideline. Looked like a hard working man over there. Paintsville inbound successfully. JR, boy, they thought they stripped him. They're gonna get Toby Harris, I think, for his second, team's fifth. They did, he's not happy. Can't blame him. Coach Billy Hicks walks all the way down to the Gatorade, picks up a cup and comes back. Paintsville inbounds. There's another foul. That one will be on McIntyre. They're closing in on the bonus here. There's a push. There's a shot of Billy Hicks. Well, Rick, we saw the other day Clay County trying to get physical with Paintsville, and Paintsville will hit their foul shots. 
Virginia. They're a very good free throw shooting team. They connected on 70% this season. There's a jumper by Howard, no good. Great save by Conley, but Harris came up with it for Scott County. Here's a chance for Scott County to go ahead, Rick. And Toby Harris will go to the line for two. Foul is on number 11, Connolly. That will be his third. Getting ready to check into the game for Paintsville, number three, Danny Scott. And the team fifth against the Tigers. Checking in number three, Danny Scott. Tackett's going to take a rest. Tackett is not 100%. You see him come off the court. I think there, he has a lower back injury. He's holding his back as he approached the bench. As we see Toby Harris tie the game for the Cardinals. And Tackett will go to the locker room. Mark the time, 2.58 remaining in the third period of play. We're knotted at 57 apiece. And the talented point guard or two guard for, for Paintsville goes to the locker room. The Cardinals have the lead. And we have a full timeout with two minutes and 58 seconds remaining. The crowd is really into it now. Let's take a timeout ourselves. More exciting action to come in the championship game of the Sweet 16 tournament. Paintsville was shooting the lights out in the first half and Boy, that's not the case anymore. They were at a about a 66% clip, I believe, in the first half. And they have come out on the, in the second half cold. They're down to 52% from the field. Still pretty darn good. However, it's 14% less than they, that they were successful on in the first half. Paintsville will inbound, trailing for the first time in a long time in this game. And they get it right down inside to their bread and butter, Van Hoos, and he connects for his 23rd point. They didn't trail for very long, did they? No. Here's a near steal. Harris recovers. They're gonna fight hard for it. They've gotta call Danny Scott on that foul. That'll be his second. Is that 15 yards for clipping? That was a hard-nosed play. That's 16 fouls on Scott County. One Both more teams foul have six. on either side will result in the bonus. Alsup with a jumper, no good. Danny Scott recovers to Howard. He'll try to take it all the way. Tried to get the trailer, JR. Knocked out of bounds, a good hustle play by the Cardinals. 221 remaining in the third period of play. Paintsville 59, Scott County 58. Danny Scott had an open look, but they clearly want to go down low to JR. They do. He was fouled by Harris. It'll be Toby's third. Getting ready to check in for Scott County, number 33, Mario McIntyre. He'll replace Toby Harris. Here we go inside to JR. Gets strong position. Goes in. Gets hacked on the right elbow. And the foul was called there. So he'll shoot two. JR had 30 points in their semifinal victory this afternoon, actually. He has 24. Now 25 on the game. So JR is playing like the boys basketball athlete of the year. He is as Hamilton. Answers on the other end with a two-pointer. It's a tie game. Turnover. Great attempted save by Danny Scott. He went deep into the crowd to save that one. Knocked over the railing. Didn't hurt anybody, thankfully. Scott County gets the ball. Not even 61 apiece. 154 remaining in the third period. Rick Jones, pump fake, goes up. He's fouled. He'll head to the line for two. He'll take his 85% free throw average with him. Rick shooting 7 of 15 from the, from the field so far. 3 of 3 from the free throw line. Rick Jones had 21 points in, in their semifinal win. 
He played almost 30 and a half minutes in that game. So Rick sees a lot of playing time. Scott County has a two point lead. Nice There's an interception by the Cardinals and a lay in and a four point lead for Scott County. And Bill Mike Runyon is thinking about a timeout. A tie up there, jump ball, Cardinals with a possession arrow in their favor. And Bill Mike Runyon will get that timeout. He was thinking about it. And the Cardinal fans are up. Well, Rick, what you see here is momentum shifting towards Scott County, and it was created by the talented guards both on the offensive and defensive end. A couple deflections. So a quick whistle there. But still a Scott County possession. Back to action we go. 1.30 remaining in the third period of play. Scott County 65, Paceville 61. Also on the drive, almost blocked, out of bounds. They call a foul on the floor. And they called it on Danny Scott. And that's his third. Yes, his third. It'll send McIntyre to the line for a one and one. Getting ready to check in for Paintsville, number 35, Mitchell Grimm. Mitchell, a talented sophomore. In the lineup, Mitchell Grimm. McIntyre converts the first of the one and one. There you got a good shot of the Scott faithful. They come out in numbers tonight from just up the road in Georgetown. Mitchell, a talented sophomore. In the lineup, Mitchell Grimm. McIntyre converts the first of the one and one. There you got a good shot of the Scott faithful. They come out in numbers tonight from just up the road in Georgetown. No good, still a five point lead for the Cardinals. Paintsville is a different team without Tackett. As we see a Tiger turnover. And he is not back on their bench yet, Rick. No, he might be finished. Hamilton at the other end, no good. JR has got to be the man at this point. He certainly has been so far. Wide open, Mitchell Grimm. Nice pass to Mitchell Grimm. He converts the two pointer. And as this quarter comes to an end, or nearing an end, we see Rick Jones unconscious, connects on the three, and Scott County leads by six. That's the 24th point for Jones. They had Van Hoos wide open, just couldn't find him. 32.7 seconds remaining in the third period of play. That shot that Jones took was a good 29, 30 feet from the rim. Scott County has made 10 of 17 from three point range. Van Hoos will head to the line as Chris Wallace is called for his fourth foul. Also number five, Chris Wallace for the Cardinals, his fourth first Rick Jones has 24 points. He's 8 of 16 from the field. He's been shooting the lights out from three-point range. J.R., an uncharacteristic miss, but an opportunistic rebound by Conley. A lot of tension in the crowd at this stage. Scott County will hold for the last shot. It becomes a three point miss. Howard has time to get it off. He does, no good. And the third quarter comes to an end with Scott County turning the tables on Paintsville, leading 69-65. Scott County ahead 73-65.
early in the fourth quarter. A reminder that we will be announcing the Samaritan player of the game at the end of the game. Stay tuned for that as we see a turnover by Paintsville. Their 17th results in a missed shot by Hamilton. Scaravelli stumbled. They're power to look to Van Hoos. He lost it out of bounds. 18 turnovers for the Tigers. Tackett still on the bench. Checking in for the Tigers of Paintsville, number 41, Mark Graham, going to the bench, number 11, Jason Connolly. And Jones calmly brings the ball across the timeline for the Cardinals. They usually work that weave a couple of times out on the perimeter and then try to take one to the hoop. Also pulls up for a jumper. Good strong rebound by the boys basketball athlete of the year, J.R. Van Hoos. There's a drive inside and a charge will result. Ricky Jones drew it. Mark Grimm was called for it, his fourth. And on that last rebound that J.R. Van Hoos made was his 19th of the game. 25 points, 19 rebounds. Wow. A double-double. Outstanding game for JR. Rick Jones yelling out some instructions to his teammates. Again, they'll work the weave until they're darn ready to take a shot. They have an eight-point lead. Inside to Scaravelli. He's up against the trees. No good. One of the trees rebounds. It's J.R. Van Hoos. Number 20. Mitchell Grimm had the open look, decided against it. Greiner missed the three-pointer. Jones recovers, courtesy of an all-sup rebound. I gotta say, Rick, that this pace plays into the hands of the Cardinals of Scott County. Five minutes remaining. Scott County dribbled themselves into a trap there. Blocking foul called on Mitchell Grimm. Bill Mike Runyon despised that call. There's a good shot of Coach Runyon. Checking in for Paintsville, Danny Scott, number three. That's 10 team fouls on Paintsville. Scott will be shooting the double bonus from now on out. Still no sign of Todd Tackett into the game. He is still on the bench. We get a look at Todd. Again, I can't believe he missed a shot. That's his first missed free throw. He now has 27 points. Let's see how Paintsville responds. There's our answer. A turnover. It's their 20th turnover. They're coming unglued. Coach Bill Mike Runnin shouts instructions to number four. Derek Howard, go to the ball. They're coming unglued. Scott County's super glue, Rick Jones, who holds this team together, is dominating today. A miss, three-pointer by Jones, and a rebound by Howard. Outlet to Griner. Blocked shot from Scaravelli. Almost killed our cameraman. Ooh, that hurt. I tell you what, he went, he got up in the rafters for that one, Rick. Here we go. Griner going up for the 12-footer. Scaravelli behind him just takes it and puts it into the cheap seat. Our seats. cameraman's a trooper. <laughs> Took one for the team. Van Hoos down low for his 27th point. He and Jones share game high honors. Don't look now, but Paintsville's coming back. 74-67, Scott County. Oh, 
what a display of basketball skills. This kid can really play basketball. There's a turnover, oh, near a turnover. They called a block on Danny Scott. Bill Mike Runyon is dangerously close to getting teed up. Scott fouls out of the game. That's his fifth personal. Coming into the game, Mitchell Graham for Paintsville. You got to look at the Scott County Cardinal cheering section. They're on their feet. They're having a good time. Hamilton at the line. He's an 84% free throw shooter. Scott County has built this lead without one of their leaders, Toby Harris, who just got up and will come back into the game along with Chris Wallace. Paintsville trails by nine with three and a half minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of the Kentucky Boys High School State Basketball Championship. This possession is critical, Rick. Mitchell Grimm down to Van Hoos. They go to their go-to guy, Van Hoos, 29th point. Back to seven now. Three possession ball game for Paintsville. Jones with a jumper, in and out. Van Hoos with a rebound, he's fouled by Scarabelli. Van Hoos will go to the line, that's Scarabelli's third. Van Hoos for the night, Rick is shooting seven for eight from the free throw line. Van Hoos has 29 points thus far and leads all scorers. Sitting on the bench for Paintsville right now, Todd Tackett has 19 points. He has not played since midway of the third quarter. Still stuck on 29. Along with 29 points, he has 21 rebounds. Now 30 points. Quite a performance from JR. Rick Jones takes it right at him and converts. Jones has 29. Scaravelli almost intercepts it. Mitchell Grimm knocks it out of bounds. The Cardinals control, and the crowd is going nuts. Rocket and Rupp Arena tonight, Saturday night in Lexington, Kentucky, March Madness. Near turnover. Bill Mike Runyon, I think he almost jumped onto the court himself to recover that loose ball. They're gonna get Howard for a foul. You knew it was coming. Bill Mike might be mesmerizing the referees with his tie. That may be the problem. Well, Scott County 78, Paintsville 70 with 236 remaining. You know, you got 10 fouls on both teams. So we're in the double bonus at both ends. There's a look at the Paintsville cheerleaders who were named the winners of the cheerleading competition for the Sweet 16 tournament. That's Jones's 30th point. Well, Toby Harris almost tipped in the rebound. Got it to one of the Cardinal players who lost it out of bounds. Conley will re-enter the game for Paintsville. Mitchell Graham goes to the bench. Scott County still doing full court pressure. Desperation time for the Tigers. Great steal attempt. Traveling called on the Cardinals. JR looking for a foul. None will be called. Paintsville will retain possession. You know, Rick, with 222 remaining, it's a three possession ball game for Paintsville. Three point attempt by Mitchell Grimm, no good. Hamilton comes down with a loose ball. And Scott County is two minutes away from their state championship. Their first ever. Their first ever. There is an obvious foul there. Lucky if they don't call it an intentional foul. It will send Jones to the line for two. He 
went down hard. It'd be nice to see a replay of that. There's a dejected Todd Tackett, knowing that he could not get into the game here in the waning moments. Jones misses the first. Makes the second for his 31st point. Can you say MVP? Can you say superstar? Scaravelli with a block shot. Conley with a rebound. He was fouled by Harris, I believe. It'll be his fifth if it was on Toby. It was his fifth. Toby has fouled out. And frankly, this Cardinal team has done all of their damage against Paintsville with little help from one of their superstars, Toby Harris into the game, replacing Harris, number 33, Mario McIntyre. Toby has been in foul trouble throughout. However, Scott County still holds a 10-point lead. There you see all the heartbreak and anguish on the faces of the Paintsville fans. Conley misses his first foul shot. He'll get another. He hits at a 50% clip, so he's due to make the second. Back rimmed it. Mitchell Grimm almost came up with it, but guess who came up with the loose ball for the Cardinals? Paintsville slapping at it now. Interception, not what the Cardinals needed. Howard converts, still an eight point lead for Scott County. Minute and a half remaining. You don't want to foul this guy. Hamilton controls at the perimeter. And JR, if he's not careful, he will get called for an intentional foul. A minute 15 remaining here in the game. Scott County holding an eight point lead. And Hamilton is deadly from the foul line, Rick. He's four of four tonight, 84% on the season. That might have been it right there. This one, if he gets it, takes it back to a minimum of a four possession game. This is what Kentucky high school basketball is all about. David beating Goliath. JR missed the short one, got the rebound. He'll go to the line for a three point play. There's That's still good. some life in these Tigers. McIntyre's fourth. JR goes to the line for his 33rd point. Seven point lead for the Cardinals. Not who they wanted to foul. But they really have no choice at this stage, do they, Chuck? Absolutely not. You've got to take what you can get right here and you're gonna foul the first available person and he just happened to be the guy with the ball in his hand. So Rick will head to the line. Double bonus situation. He has 31 points. He's eight of 11 from the line thus far. Make it nine of 12 and 32 points. An awful lot of maturity for our junior. He ties J.R. Van Hoos for game high honors with 33 points. Back to a three possession minimum game for Paintsville. Less than a minute to go. Down low to Van Hoos. Mugged. He'll go to the line for two. Possibly on McIntyre. If that's the case, the young man is fouled out. So that's two people that have fouled out for Scott County in the waning moments here. However, with 46.7 seconds remaining, JR will get two. That will only bring it back to seven points. Still a three possession game. Alsup will check in for McIntyre. 46.7 seconds remaining in this high school basketball season. Two. 
Van Hoos with 34. Thirty-five for JR. The lead is seven. It's keep away now. Foul the wrong person there. However, you gotta foul who you can foul. Second best free throw shooter on the team. Yeah, you get a good shot with the Paints Hill cheerleader. They've had a good run, Rick. They have had a great season. Many people thought that Scott County didn't deserve to be here. A lot of people said they didn't play the kind of schedule that everybody else did. Well, they proved them wrong here tonight. They played a schedule in the Sweet 16 tournament. If they win this game, they've beaten both Lexington Catholic and Paintsville to win the state tournament. And they've also beaten a very pesky Fleming County team. JR back to the line for two. Tigers trail by nine. JR tries to add to his team and game high of 35. He does, makes it 36. Stays at 36, Cardinals rebound. Foul by Conley, it'll send Alsip to the line. Casey, an 82% free throw shooter. Hey Rick, you know, you've got three guys on the floor right now, two of them are sophomores, one's a junior that will be back for a couple of years. You know, uh, you look at the, uh, the lineup for Scott County, Jones will be back, Wallace will be back, Alsop will be back. That's a pretty awesome nucleus to have for the next year or two. Wouldn't be surprised if we see this team back in the final game for the 1999 Kentucky Boys High School Basketball Championship. Mitchell Grimm with a desperation three, out of bounds to Scott County. In the last 15.2 seconds, let's let Ropa Ringa take over. Paintsville's going to follow this team till the end of the game. They're not going to give up. Can't blame them at all. They trail by 10. Rick, did you see that standing ovation that Rupp Arena gave J.R. Van Hoos when he left the game? What an absolute honor to J.R. Van Hoos. Classy move. Classy move by this crowd. Just as we say that. We see a sign like that. Those directors, you know, they always want to contradict what you say. Paintsville comes out with it. And this is likely the last possession of the ball game. Scott County has won the championship of boys high school basketball in Kentucky.
Since 1985, the Kentucky High School Athletic Association has presented academic scholarships to participants in the boys' and girls' state basketball tournaments. These awards, based strictly on academic excellence, are given by four sources. This year, the association is proud to award four one-time scholarships to participants in this tournament. The first scholarship is funded by a donation from the Dahlherr family and is to be used at a Kentucky college or university. The Dahlherr's KHSAA Academic Scholarship is presented tonight by Mr. D. Dahlherr, and the winner is from Lexington Catholic High School with a near-perfect grade point average in addition to many civic and community involvements, Mr. Quinn Bell. Accepting for Quinn Bell is Brandon Salzman, assistant coach for Lexington Catholic. Accepting the award from Mr. D. Dahlherr. The second scholarship is funded by a donation from the fine people at Kentucky Wide National Insurance Company. The Kentucky Wide KHSAA Academic Scholarship is presented by Mr. Tommy Booth of Kentucky Wide and the winner is from Paintsville High School. A near perfect grade point average and long list of academic, athletic, and civic involvements and achievements, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Devin Pack. Our third scholarship is funded by a donation from the fine people at the offices of Greenbaum, Dahl, and McDonald in Lexington. The Greenbaum, Dahl, and McDonald KHSAA Academic Scholarship is presented by Mr. Ken Cox, and the winner is from Clay County High School. With a near perfect grade point average and long list of academic, athletic, and civic involvement and achievement, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dusty Grubb. The fourth scholarship is funded by a donation from the fine people at the KHSAA in support of the Kentucky Army National Guard. The KHSAA Academic Scholarship is presented by Mr. Ken Tippett, and the winner is from Union County High School with a perfect grade point average and long list of academic, athletic, and civic involvement and achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Wenders. Our next award is given annually to the participant who excels in four areas, academic, ability, citizenship, sportsmanship, and athletic ability. Named for former commissioner Ted Sanford, this award is given to a participant in the boys tournament each year. Presented by Commissioner Lewis Stout, this year's winner is involved in a long list of activities in addition to holding various elected offices within his school. He has also been a four-year participant in the basketball program and carries an outstanding grade point average. Ladies and gentlemen, your 1998 Ted Sanford Award winner is from Boyle County High School, Mr. Neil Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Neil Brown accepting the Ted Sanford Award from Commissioner Lewis Stout. The 
voted on annually by the members of the media and veteran tournament observers is the 15-person All-State Tournament Team. And the members of the 1998 All-Tournament Team are from Boyd County High School, Tyler Zorns. And while Tyler makes his way down, let's meet a representative from Clay County High School, Antoine Henson. This is Tyler Zorns, Boyd County. Followed by Antoine Henson of Clay County. From Highlands, Derek Smith. And also from Highlands, Jared Lorenzen. Derek Smith of Highlands. From Lexington Catholic, David Graves. From Fleming County, Josh Graham. From Eastern, Jermaine Taylor. From Fleming County, J. Emmons. From Scott County, A.W. Hamilton. From Scott County, Toby Harris. Pleasure Ridge Park, Dominique Taylor. From Scott County, Rick Jones. From Lexington Catholic, Sean Fields.
from Paintsville, Todd Tackett. And let's recognize Dominique Taylor of PRP. And from Paintsville, J.R. Van Hoos. And now, your 1998 Sweet 16 Most Valuable Player is from Scott County. And Sweet 16 MVP, Rick Jones. Now for the presentation of our runner-up awards. Presenting the runner-up awards are Commissioner Lewis Stout and members of the Board of Control. And the first presentation is to an outstanding basketball team coached by Bill Mike Runyon, the Tigers of Paintsville. <laughs> Superintendent Paul Williams. Principal Grayson Boyd. Equipment Manager Billy Fraley. Statistician David Trimble. Cheerleading Sponsor Kathy Kenner. Assistant Coaches Mike Haney, Mark Baldwin, Roger Belcher, Bob Van Hoos, David Van Hoos. The Head Coach Bill Mike Runyon. Number three, Danny Scott. Number 11, Jason Conley. Number 14, Donnie Kistner. Number 15, Devin Peck. Number 21, Jeremy Hall. Number 22, Derek Collins. Number 32, Mike Burchett. Number 34, Ben Trimble. Number 35, Mitchell Grimm. Number 42, Ethan Blackburn. Number 41, Mark Grimm. Number 4, Derek Howard. Number 5, Josh Griner. Number 12, Todd Tackett. And number 40, J.R. Van Hoos. Runner-up team trophy. Presenting the runner-up team trophy members of the KHSAA Board of Control. Ladies and gentlemen, 1998 state runners up, Coach Bill Mike Runyon and his Tigers of Paintsville.
the presentation of our championship awards. Presenting the championship awards are Commissioner Lewis Stout and the members of the Board of Control to Coach Billy Hicks and the Cardinals of Scott County. Manager Daniel Wells. Videographer Damian Hall. Trainer Rick Mitchell. Statistician Wayne McClintock. Statistician Jim Cook. The superintendent is Dr. Dallas Blankenship. Assistant principal Sonny Denniston. The principal is Greg Figs. Athletic director John Krigler. Statistician Ashley Hicks. Statistician Betsy Hamilton. Scorekeeper Ken Parley. Assistant coaches Steve Helton. Dudley Mattingly. Sean Berry, Billy Sargent, and the head coach, Billy Hicks. Number five, Chris Wallace. Number 10, Casey Alsop. Number 32, Ken Chisley. Number 34, Bryant Harris. Number 22, Todd Oser. Number 40, Cam Cantrell. Number 30, Justin Christman. Number 24, Steve Milligan. Number 44, Jason Willoughby. Number 14, Rick Jones. Number double zero, Mike Scarvelli. Number 33, Mario McIntyre. Number three, A.W. Hamilton. And number 23, Toby Harris. And to present the team trophy for the championship team are members of the KHSAA Board of Control. Ladies and gentlemen, your 1998 Kentucky State Champions, Coach Billy Hicks and the Cardinals of Scott County. gentlemen, so concludes the 1998 State Championship Tournament. We thank you for your attendance and ask you to please drive safely. Attention all Scott County Cardinal fans.